Today's brew to review was another uh, hard one to find. I tried to purchase it uh, here in Appleton um, downtown at a market and the guy at the market actually told me it was only a seasonal summer brew. So I kind of just gave up and thought I would just have to wait until next summer. Um, it is the Flesh and Blood IPA, another brew from Dogfish Head out of Delaware. It is a new Dogfish brew for 2016. It is actually available year round. Um, it's made using 20 years of IPA innovation with a ton of uh, all natural citrus including lemon flesh and blood orange, hence the name Flesh and Blood. Um, blood orange juices that is and uh, it's also got orange and lemon peels and then um, they also experimented with several different types of hops they actually ch ended up choosing warrior hops and centennial hops and then another uh, rare experimental blend of hops that doesn't even have a name yet um, it's supposed to have a hoppy um, char characteristics just like a, an American IPA and an exclusive fru fruity flavor with the tartness of citrus. It is a little bit stronger, 7.5 ABV, and it has a lower uh, bitterness scale of uh, 45 IBUs. I've really been wanting to try this one for a long time as well, um, since about the beginning of the summer, since I heard it was coming out. Um, really a big fan of uh, blood oranges. Um, they're red, my favorite color, uh, and they taste really good. Um, so let's, let's give this one a try. Excuse me. Let's get the opener out here. This should have been opened first. So I actually got this one. This, uh, there was a six pack. I actually was able to get a whole six pack this time of this one. The same place I got the, uh, good old 120 minute IPA. Um, I actually drank the whole bottle and that was uh, that was a lot um, for one sitting or a lot for just one person there correct um, here is the bottle for the blood flesh and blood excuse me um, pretty cool looking bottle it's red with the blood oranges and the hops and the citrus and then the dogfish um, Let's give this one a try. Sorry, I just thought, thought I heard something back there for a minute. Also live in an apartment. I guess it could have been upstairs. I also figured out what those particles are in the, um, the beers. Like from the last two beers, the... Um, Saicho IPA and then the 120 minute uh, IPA. Um, it's actually a sign that the beer wasn't pasteurized. It's also a sign of higher quality uh, beer that um, has been aged longer. Um, it's actually yeast proteins that float in the beer. So that's kind of cool. And it is a sign of higher quality um, non pasteurized beer, um, non filtered. This is what this one looks like. Let's get it over here like it normally is. Kind of a um, reddish, actually, amber. So that's cool. Kind of a lighter IPA smell. And that one's really pretty. Uh, it's got a really light kind of refreshing taste it's kind of um, what I would consider to be kind of like a, I would almost compare it to since the uh, I think it's probably since the um, IBU rating is so low it's not too bitter to drink and be refreshing um, and I actually kind of want to compare it to like a Bud Light or a Miller Light or you know a Coors Light, um, kind of that kind of smooth refreshness. But 
but it is definitely good and you do get that um, citrusy hoppy IPA taste um, definitely a, something completely different and you can definitely tell it's higher quality um, I would give this one also a 10 out of 10 um, I have had probably three or four or five different IPAs from Dogfish Head and they are um, they're all really really good I definitely recommend if you do like um, you know IPAs definitely give Dogfish Head a try um, the uh, 90 minute Imperial Pale Ale the uh, or Indian Pale Ale excuse me is uh, usually good if you drink just two of them you're pretty good um, so yeah uh, definitely give this 10 out of 10 like I said and it is very refreshing definitely try to find it if you uh, are into IPAs and or citrus flavored stuff um, and uh, as always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and um, subscribe for more content and this is Sean and see you next time